let's see in this session how do we implement Bagafort's algorithm. So Bagafort's is a natural language processing model which helps in extracting the features out of the text, which can be helpful in machine learning algorithms. Here are the step-by-step -step processes. First, we apply text normalization. Next step is creating the dictionary. Then the third step, create document vectors. And the fourth step, create document vectors for all the documents. Let us take an example and then do apply Bagafort's algorithm. So this is, our, this is the corpus that we have taken, which has three documents. The three documents having one sentence each. Now, the step one, we need to apply text normalization. After that, this is how every word is considered as a token and separated into tokens. After text normalization, after step one is completed, this is how it looks. Second step, we need to create a dictionary. So what we are supposed to do, list down all the words which occur in all the three documents without repetition. That means what all the words you are considering should be the unique words which will not be repeated. So that we call it as dictionary. Step three, we are going to create the document vector. What is document vector? This is our dictionary. Now, we want to create the document vector for first document, that is Aman and Anil are stressed. So for in this dictionary, Aman, and Anil are stressed is our document one. So Aman repeated once it came in the document one and also came only once. So Anil also is only once R one stressed one. Remaining all are zeros because these words did not occur in our document one. How many times that particular word occurs, that, much, that number you would be writing. So that is nothing but the document vector. Now, in step four, what we are going to do? As we have three documents, we would be doing the document vector table for all the three documents. First document is Aman and Anil are stressed. So the remaining all would be zeros. In document two, Aman went to a therapist is our document two. So the remaining values are zeros. Now the third document, Anil went to a... So what is our... Let us go back and see our sentence. Anil went to download a health chatbot. So Anil went to a download, went to download a health chatbot. Only these words, you will write one because they came only once. They appeared only once in the document. This gives us the document vector table for our corpus. But the tokens have still not been converted to numbers. So for that process, we are supposed to implement the final step of our algorithm that is TFIDF. Hope you understood clearly how do we create a document vector table.